Brandy. Our work is done in Oxenfordshire, but the cost has been high. Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke, a very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassam will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. So Chailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Potford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, it will certainly be needed. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I'm to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad up Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... Quite terrifying. Don't fret until you have taken up the Elderman's title. Too many things can go wrong between now and then. My father thinks me fit already. I shouldn't want to disappoint him. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Eva. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. He parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. 
Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The has... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Now's not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth a path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Jailbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother. We used the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, no! Now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva! You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Watch for the counter! Come on, the perfecto! Britain Tower! I am Eva, King Killer! Spill your brain! <laughs> 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 
You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Chael Bears killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what she really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar, and I'll send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear Lom. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river. Those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. Let's go hooded here. Go, my eyes. Smell that, Chailbert. There's Ivar. Chailbert, too. I think so. A faint, grassy odor? No, no. Ivar, Chaelbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Jailbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Ivar. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Light it up and burn it down! Burn it all down! You can't win this. Like a winter sea. 
Sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, Fraunhold, Quick the Dead, whatever it may be, is stained forever. Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now. I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh. We won. And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. To survive a battle is to be born anew, in blood and screams. My father died in the snake pit. Left nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father Ragnar left a strong saga. Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chael Bert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. 
and together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We've confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Eivor, it's done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chaelbert? Want to pass on the good news? He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Doesn't look good. Tears of Freya. Jailbert, uh, 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 you live. I... I uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton Crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes.
some help here? Ivar, dear love. By the hand of Thor! Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E... Ivar. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. Your war is back on. What? He was killed with this. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolo, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. He'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. And remember, leave Rotary to me. In Quadford, you told me Rotary gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Uh, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beat. Put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me! I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me... This Nick, leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hand shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack.
I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man. Playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. <laughs> Pitiful dragon.
I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nornius finish fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come! See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But now, that is a song for the ages. <laughs> Fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of mercy, I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose... What a tale you have to tell! You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face, the friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny, I'd become King Killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a lie, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkiss? Or is the coward in hell? We need tears of ice! Go again! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Uh, 
Do not shame him. Uh, I hear... I hear their wings. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Arbor. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri. ...to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... ...this is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end? You did not deny him. With Eivor gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. Beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. <laughs> 